Jones and Tim Brandt. We are in Norman, Oklahoma for one of the most hotly contested battles in all of college football. The Oklahoma Sooners, who come into this game with a record of 6-4, and four, host the number one ranked Nebraska Cornhuskers. A win for Nebraska, and it's simple, folks. They go to the Orange Bowl in Miami to take on maybe the Miami Hurricanes for a shot at Nebraska for 22 years. A class man, quiet-spoken Tom Osborne, 9-13 and 13 all time against the Sooners. And there's a look at the man who will be stepping down after this season, Gary Gibbs. He lasted five and a half years. This is his sixth season, just one and four against Nebraska. Strange the way it all happened at his press conference on Tuesday after 30 minutes of the press conference, pulled out a sheet of paper and read his resignation. The players found out that way, as did some of the assistant. Scott Flatton will kick it off for the Sooners, and here it is. This is Clinton Child. Childs with a decent return. Nobody said, Tim, it was going to be tough following a legend. A guy like Barry Switzer, who set some high standards here in Oklahoma. Third down and ten. Out of the shotgun is Brooke Beringer. Lots of time, and he's sacked back at the 34. Tyrell Peters and Martin Chase and has to limit the turnovers and penalties. Gain of one on first down, second and nine, play action. McGee sells the fake and goes up top. And he's picked off. So much for that. Kareem. Nine yards rushing per game. It is third down and four. And they line up with four wideouts. The option, Beringer keeps it himself, and he's got the first down. And he gets the first down. Play action. Beringer with all kinds of real estate. Brought down at the 27-yard line. He's right. On the option, Beringer keeps it. This time, he doesn't find that much success. He loses a yard. Back to the 29. Tyrell Peters, the team's leading tackler, makes the ball from 46 yards out. They fake it. And they're not going to get the first down. Terman, the backup quarterback, to Oklahoma's doing right now. But because they're so aggressive, Dean, watch the cutbacks and the isolations. Nothing doing on that play. Gerald Moore is sacked back to the 20-yard line. Three wideouts for Beringer. He goes to Abdul Muhammad complete. Muhammad brought down at the 22-yard line and near the first down marker. A pickup of 11 yards, and he does have the first. They faked it last time. They'll kick it this time. And he drilled it right down Main Street. He improves to three of eight now on the season. And not just the and That Oklahoma defense, if this keeps up, is bound to get a little fatigued. McGee to pass. And now he's scrambling. He's got real estate. McGee with a pickup of 25 yards out to the 40. It's a good thing the quarterback's head wasn't in it either. He come off with it anyway. Pass complete to number six, Michael McDaniel, the big tight end. Marcus Dupree as an eye back. That was Barry Switzer. Now you've got uh, Gibbs, and he's throwing the ball more. And this time they hand it off. James Allen with a gaping hole. He's down to the 27-yard line, but there's a... Jay Mills split wide to the bottom of your screen. A counter play to Moore. He can break tackles. Thunder. Lands at the 16, tackled by Jones, but a first from 33 yards out. Blanton has it blocked. A big play by the Husker special team. Four wideouts for this play. Bangeringer on the waggle, brought down at the seven. Tremendous pursuit. The third sack of the afternoon, that one by Wendell. Now playing a little bit over its head. Defensively flying around, offensively. Jared Moore's outstanding. Time for conversion on third down right here. Garrick with time. Complete to Albert Hall. A first down at the 14-yard line. He He's a perfect two for two from this distance. Make that three for three. He nails the 25-yarder and Oklahoma and Gary Gibbs' last regular season home game has tied the score 3-3 against the Cornhuskers. See, we took 
too. This is something we talked about before the game. I think Brooke is a very confident guy. He knows he's done the job, and he knows he's 6-0 as a starter, but he's got to be thinking, hey, Tommy's back there. He was a Heisman Trophy candidate. Everybody loves him. I know he's effective. They may put him in a final performance. He is just 3 of 9, make that 4 for 10 now, complete to Alford, but Alford is ends three apiece. People were wondering if the Sooners would quit on Gary Gibbs. I think we have our answer. It's a resounding no. They have played well here in the first 30 minutes. We are tied at three apiece. Don't forget coming up, the Prudential Halftime Report with scores and highlights. Last regular season home game for Gary Gibbs. McGee on the slant, complete to Hall. Hall with the first down out to the 45-yard line. A 23-yard pickup by the senior. Nice play. McGee on the toss to James Allen, trying to get to the corner and square those shoulders. He turns up field and rams his way down to the 45-yard line where he's... Langston asking for quiet from the fans. McGee's going to throw, has it batted down, and incomplete, almost picked off by number... Just in the way, Nebraska's first possession of the second half. Barringer keeps it himself on the option and is brought down to the 22-yard line. He lost a yard on that one. Cedric a little bit beyond for the first down. They spread the field. Barringer keeps it and has the first down plus some. I'll do it myself, he says, and he fumbles it. Nebraska gets it back. Thousand Husker fans, though. You know, I think a lot of that has to do with the students, too. So right. many of the students make up this uh, this attendance here at Owen Field. I think that has changed. Well, there's been tight ends. Muhammad in the slot. They go for Muhammad. He's open. And he hung on to it at the 14-yard line. He got drilled by Larry. Nine-man front. Look at this. Muhammad in motion. A waggle by Beringer. Incomplete for Phillips. And the Oklahoma defense responds. You know, they did slip the tight yards out. He takes the short ones. And it's good. Nebraska taking a 6-3 lead. Break down Nebraska. He's going to pass on first. He loses one tackler, but is brought down finally at the 17-yard line. Keneally was the pressure man, and Harris lowered the boom. He was actually looking for Gerald Moore, who threw a block delayed and then just tried to slip through the line and into the little flat area there. He's got to throw it away. Just throw it at somebody's feet or throw it out of bounds. There's a look at Lucius Selman. A little bit instead of running on second and 15. Here they go to pass. Third down and 10. McGee's going to run. Nice move out to the 31-yard line. He got the first with the lunge. A tremendous effort. Speed for the position. Second down and 13. McGee brought down in a heap at the 30-yard line. The second sack for the Black Shirts. Nebraska has six points on the scoreboard as we begin the fourth quarter. That's the bad news. The good news, if you're a Husker fan, is that they lead 6-3. to three. The Huskers go with two tights. Pairing her to pass to Muhammad. He's open. Abdul Muhammad. He broke it open last year. And jumbo package down near the end zone. Barringer keeps it himself. Touchdown, Huskers. You know, with that offensive line. That's out of the eye. Two tight end set. Akavica on the carry, and he was stuck up the middle. Simpson led the charge for the Sooners. 7.55 to bring us where we are now. McGee, downfield, has Hall, overthrows him. He was in behind the defender, number eight, Tyrone Williams, but he was overthrown. You know, McGee, football, they just love Oklahoma. Here's the counter trade of Phillips. Brought down nicely behind the line of... Brought that all along. <laughs> I was going to argue with the Timmy. <laughs> oh, boy. Barringer into the end zone, picked off. Davis. Looking for a block and running out of bounds at the 19. For the fourth consecutive time. Winning for the sixth time in the last seven outings. And for Gary Gibbs, it has come to the end. His last home game.
doesn't look like a guy that's just coached his last game. It's almost a relief. I tell you, the guy is a quality guy. I know that uh, a lot of strong feelings on both sides of the fence here in Norman, Oklahoma, but Gary Gibbs steps down. He's done a marvelous job. I